you. Yes, you. Do you want to become rich? And Grandma Deja. Then I'll let you in on a little secret. Come with me. The first way is through dungeons. You can earn gold by gathering together yourself and four other friends and run one of the many dungeons that Grandma Tasia has to provide at different level caps. If you're a helpless loner like myself, type into looking for a party chat and say you're looking for a party. Dungeon runs are unlimited and there's no final destination anymore, so grind your heart out. Now, if you're not strong enough yet to find a party, you can always buy a leeches for roughly one third to half the cost of the mission order reward. This is a bit slower than running with a group. I recommend running characters either at level 70 for PT or Phoenix Tower, or level 78 plus for BFR, and FT, although level 80 would be more recommended. You'd find more people to do these dungeons, these three dungeons. Now the second way to get gold and even clays is to sell in-game items. One of the biggest get rich quick if you're lucky enough ways is if you have a level 100 to run VFS. This dungeon is available to run twice a day and you are able to run public rooms available up to 20. Usually they run up to 21 or 20 but it says 21. And if you have a big enough guild, you can run two guild rooms up to 20 or even 30. You can also get blueprints and mats for armor blueprints on floors 1 to 10. And there are usually still people looking to buy these and sell pretty decent in price. There's a chance from 11 plus floor to get rare rings, capes, and blueprints, especially which could get you 500 plus clays, 3,000 plus clays, or even 5,000 plus clays per item depending on what that is. If you do not have a level 100, or even if you do, but don't want to do the VFS, there are other ways to make gold or clays which relies on utilizing auction house and trade chat. You can keep an eye on auction house and buy cheap items and sell them later for more. This is a more slower process, but you should always make a profit if done correctly. You can farm for talent blueprints, mats for blueprints or gear, look for class ultimates or any other in-game item that's out there that some people can be too lazy to get and sell it to them. Utilize trade chat and auction house. Watch the auction house prices for those items and set up what price you will sell them for. You should be able to make a profit that way too. The third way is to craft gear. This will take forever to do for level 100 gear, but if you can craft like level 70 or 80 gear using sprites that have already reached that level, you can make some serious gold or plays. Utilize trade chat to advertise your crafting business. Look at other crafters' prices to set yours to be competitive. Mats are easier to come by the lower the level, but the earnings are higher the higher the level. The, thir the fourth way is to sell peel up. Grinding levels is very tedious, I need levels. Levels. and there will always be lazy people with gold to buy P-levels for. If you can one-shot, two-shot mobs and are super quick about killing a large number of mobs in a short amount of time, then you should be good. Please note that you don't have to be level 100 in order to uh, P-level people. You can always, If you're level 80, you can always do MPT. There will always be people who need pay levels for MPT. So the fifth way, and honestly the most time saving, is of course spending AP. This doesn't necessarily mean spending your money though. There are ways to get free AP, that's right. There's a little section right here that's called earn free AP. If you click it, you're able to complete free offers and surveys in order to get free AP. That's right. Imagine getting 400 AP, spending it on the tier, unlocking the 50 non-tradable clays, and doing this on multiple accounts. You can also utilize that non-tradable clays and wait for a clay table to come out and convert those non-tradable clays to tradable ones and sell those to get gold. You are able to convert these clays to items by Util oh, yeah. um, converting them into items oh, yeah. on the M-Clay and S-Clay table. 
try not to use all of your M clays on one table. If you're not making a profit, it's not a good idea to keep going. Most clay tables have really bad rates and looks to be different character to character. Your goal is to try to make a profit. You can also sell those items that you had clayed for and as well get gold for them. Alright guys, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe for more tutorials. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!